All right, everybody, the time has arrived that I show you my Ranger Z185. Recently got it. It is brand spanking new. Uh, big shout out to Bedford Sales. They hooked it up. I mean, they just absolutely killed it on this. Their people there are phenomenal. Check them out. They're down in uh, Bedford, Illinois, and uh, just just awesome. Or down in Morris. They're down in Morris, Illinois. They're just awesome people. Uh, absolutely love them. They hooked it up. All right. So let's run you through the Ranger real quick. So we got uh, we got the package deal on this bad boy. So we have two Ranger Hook Sevens, uh, one in the front here, one up in the bow, the Fortrex 80, which uh, is just a killer trolling, and uh, the Mercury 150. We went with the. Uh, Fusion electric blue color. Absolutely love this color. And uh, let's uh, let's walk you through it a little bit and show you all of the great things of the Ranger Z185. So up front you have four, count them, four different storage compartments. First one is a rod locker. Uh, holds up to eight rods uh, plus tackle. And uh, it actually also comes with some uh, storage dividers that you can put in there. The second is another storage locker that will hold up to 10 more rods. So you're looking at a total of 18 rods that you can have in the boat, which is just awesome. We have a dry storage locker here that just keeps uh, a lot of my extra stuff in it. And then your main cooler right here. One great other thing about this boat is it actually has two coolers. Uh, this little bad boy here that works as your step is also a small cooler, which I'm super big fan of because I like having extra drinks in the boat, all that kind of great stuff. Well, what about the back of the boat, you say? What about the back, Chase? So it comes with two live wells. One and two. Uh, it is separated inside. I wasn't sure when we got it if it was separated or if it was all one, but uh, they're definitely separated. Uh, so you, if you wanted to use a Ranger Z185 on like the FLW Tour, for example, you could. Uh, we have another dry storage here and one more dry storage right here. Boom. Uh, in the back, is you know, going to keep all your batteries. This one has three batteries, one for cranking, two for the trolling motor. And I think this thing runs phenomenal. Uh, we had it on the lake today, which we're going to show you. I think uh, we went out to Braidwood and Braidwood is an absolutely pounded lake. I mean, it is probably the most pressured lake in the Chicagoland area. And uh, we ended up doing really well. We didn't catch any monsters, but we did catch a ton of fish. The main thing we were throwing were creature baits. Typically, uh, let me think, they were the yum, little yum ones. Uh, just absolutely awesome. The woolly bugs, yum woolly bugs, and just killing it. Green pumpkin, the water's really stained there. However, green pumpkin tends to really work well. Uh, we were just kind of flipping and pitching up uh, along these reeds and this tree and just kept pulling them in and pulling them in and pulling them in. I even go three for three at one point. Three fish, three casts. That's just awesome. And with how pressured this lake is, it's crazy. Uh, absolutely love it. The just super great time. So let's jump into some of that fishing and let's see how we did. guys first fish dad caught on a little creature bait we're here along some reeds let's get some more <clears throat> he was out a little bit huh mm -hmm. all right turn this off just a little bit
little guy. What a fish. Sure do. <laughs> do you need a different type? I just need a creature bait. Oh. Yeah. That's a better one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh yeah. He is a fat fish. Look at him. Look at this guy. Fatty. A little, little blurgy. Yeah, he's a little blurgy. Back-to-back -back casts, boys. They're sitting underneath that tree. Little guys, but they're fish. Welcome back. There's another one. Oh, he's better. Not really. Is that three for three? Yeah. <laughs> three for three. Damn. Did you load up? Oh, there's a head. There he is. <sighs> is that that cast not in there? No, I didn't get it in there. <laughs> Little dinky guys, but man, they are fun to catch. I think they're all this size. <laughs> huh? Yeah, big one. <laughs> Look at how chunky he is, though. Just munching. It almost feels like I got a thump thump in my page gone. Could be. Oh! oh. What the fuck? Here's my creature bait right over there. What? was that? No shit, right? God damn it. I didn't even know he was there. Better fish. Much better fish. Wow. Good job, the Same Blair. thing, dude. Just running, you know? Didn't even didn't even feel him hit it. Really? Uh-uh. Looked out as I was real tightening up and saw the line was way over there and reeled up and set the hook. <laughs> yeah, he's he's wound up. More fish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. He's going places. He wants to be somebody. Sometimes like when you do the drag, right? And then you start to come down. If you're not really staying tight on it, they'll hit it when you lift up and then they're just gone. There's one. That's a good one. I think. I don't know. No, it's a little bad. Actually, no, he's pretty good. Ooh. He's better fit. Yeah, that's a good one. Our best day on Braidwood yet. Man, these are some big, fat little guys, man. I mean, they're not huge fish, but they are healthy. Here is because we're over here. Nobody else knows this spot really. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> hmm? I'm not sure there was a fish. It looked like it was running for a second. <laughs> 
it is. <laughs> God damn it. You got him. I know, but it's getting irritating. I'm not being able to feel the fish, you know. <laughs> they are feisty, aren't they? Yeah, for sure. Like I said, when it feels like you're not feeling bottom, gain line. <laughs> Open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> there. That's good. Well, he was out here, wasn't he? Yeah. Dude, it took me forever to catch up with him. Really? Yeah. There we go. Good fish or no? Little guy. He's hooked well. Hook came out. <coughs> Moving it real slow, or what were you doing? No, just pretty normal. Just kind of a. He hit it pretty hard. Really? Yeah. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you like the bass boat, let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'd love to hear what your guys' recommendations would have been or are uh, on different bass boats. What do you guys use? Let me know in the comments below. Again, guys, if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, happy foozin'.